Hello, my name is Ryan Tabor, and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today we'll be looking at using prompts to control how one-steps are executed. Within Sharewell, it is often the case that a single one-steps behavior will change, depending on a decision between multiple cases or circumstances. This could be something static, like the value of a field or a status within the ticket, or it could be something dynamic, like user input. In my example, I would like to create a one-step that creates one of three tasks depending on how the user interacts with one-step. A high-priority task, a medium-priority task, and a low-priority task. To get started, go to the one-step manager and create a new one-step. The first action I will set up will be to get customer input. This will be in the form of a prompt. Drag the show a pop-up action onto the dashboard and give it a caption. This is what will be displayed on the message bar. Then fill in the contents of the message. After this, change the format of the message box to Command Button Message Box. Then go to the Buttons pane. We will be adding custom buttons to give our different options. Our first button will be for a high priority task. The result value can be whatever we want from the object associations, or we can enter in text. I will use the text option and enter in high. If we needed to, we could define conditions when the buttons would be displayed. For instance, we could configure this button to only display if the incident priority was high. Next, we will add buttons for medium and low priority. After this, store the user selection in a variable. Next, add a decide between multiple cases action. Edit the cases, and use the variables option at the bottom of the dropdown. And set the logical case for when the variable equals high. From here, create a task with the required details. I am just adding a description for this demonstration. Next, create the cases for medium and low priority tasks. After all this is done, click OK and Run. We can see a pop-up with the caption, contents, and buttons we specified, and the button selection drives the creation of the specific action that we require. This was a simple example, but complex behavior can be controlled using this method. Hopefully you find this useful, and we will see you next time.